Hey, welcome back everybody. We're about to do another TTM video. We get autographs TTM or through the mail and we've got nine including one big photo hopefully that's signed and it looks like eight cards to go along with it. We get autographs TTM through the mail by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards, photographs, balls, whatever you want signed with a self-addressed stamped envelope. When we get returns, we come to YouTube and share the information and let's get to it. First one's coming from Tampa St. Pete. Tampa St. Pete, we love you. Hey, Rick Rennick, he finished off the Mitterall duel. Sweet, 68 rookie stars. We've gotten Rick Rennick before, maybe six, seven months ago. He's a quick signer, that's for certain. He's 70 tops. Pretty good uh, middle infielder. Then became a coach for a long time after... He retired as a player. He was on that uh, staff of 87 Twins World Series champs. Won a ring there. And then he uh, uh third base coach for the Pirates for a few years in the 90s. Double check that. Yeah, he was with the Pirates for four seasons and then... Um, Played all of his career with five seasons, 68 to 72 with the Twins. He's 77 years old now. Quick signer, seven days, no fee. No fee for Rick Rennick. Next up, North Houston. Houston, Houston, Houston. Ooh, nice little photograph. Ken Aspermonte. We got Bob back earlier in the week. I was expecting to get Ken. I sent him on the same day, kind of a race. Sweet two index cards at 58 rookie and a 64. Beautiful. Really nice autographs. Both he and Bob both have great autographs and they're both quick returners too. That was a surprise and that 63 tops uh, kind of a postcard that he made himself. Nice bonus including that rookie card there. He's on the Senators and he got traded to the Cubbies. He's uh, almost 90 years old. Wait a second. He turned 90 yesterday. Look at that birthday. September 22. Well, he's 89. <laughs> Pretty cool. Is it listed there? Yeah, September 22, 1932. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Aspermonte. Sweet like those index cards. That's a nice bonus. So that's what, five of two for Mr. Aspermonte. Seven days for him. What was his brother? Probably six. Yeah, he became manager of the Indians later after his playing days and then um, left in 74. That cleared the way for the first black manager, Frank Robinson, player manager in uh, 1975. Seven days, no fee for Ken, no fee for brother Bob. There was another brother, I think, played minor league ball. Brian Kelly. Nice. He was a part of that big Giants defense. Great linebacker. Kind of underrated because of the stars that he played with. He called him the Crunch Bunch. I'll put those together. 84 tops. Crunch Bunch with uh, Brad Van Pelt, who was a really good linebacker. And LT, of course. And Hall of Famer Harry Carson, who's a great signer through the mail. Brian Kelly was part of that. Let's see if they have his tackles here. No, just the interceptions. He played for a long time, as you see, 73 to 83 there. College football Hall of Famer. He's drafted in the 14th round in the NFL and out of a little NAIA school, so he's not going to make it, right? <laughs> 11 seasons later, all for the Giants. College football Hall of Famer. Great TTM or two. Quick, six days, no fee. Brian Kelly. All right, next up, West Palm Beach, Flow Rider. More index cards, unsigned. Doug Rader usually signs over his hit forehead right there. 68, 69, and 70. Little player run. Didn't sign the index cards, that's fine. All headshots. We'll keep this 70 up here. He's got a hat on. Proper way to wear a hat there. Nice 3-3 three, three from Doug Rader. He was a Fantastic defensive third baseman, a solid hitter, too. Won five consecutive gold gloves from 70 to 74. Maybe best known for his managing because he was in so many card sets during the uh, 
beginning of the junk wax era. He managed from 83 to 91. Then he became a professional cake decorator after his playing days. No, didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Nine days, no fee for Doug Raider. Missoula, Montana. Where? Missoula, Montana. Tom Mack. Hall of Fame, Tom Mack. Nice. 71 tops and 75 tops. Inscribed both. I think I may have sent a donation to Mr. Mack on this. He doesn't require one, typically. Hall of Fame football player that you don't have to send a fee to. I do usually. I think I sent $5 per. He's been such a great signer for everyone, including me. But he's 77, almost 78 now. What's his birthday? 11 one -43. Played for 13 seasons from 66 to 78. All for the Rams. Out of those 13 seasons, he was in the Pro Bowl 11. 11 times. He's one of the GOATs. One of the greatest of all time, Tom Mack. If you're mentioning the greatest offensive lineman of all time, you got to mention Tom Mack's name. Hall of Fame, 1999, 16 days. 16 days. Atlanta Metro. Must be in the Metro. Steve Nikosha. Did he sign all three? No index cards, no hard card. Steve Nikosha with his number 16. Great signature. First time we've sent old Steve, the old bucko, 66 years old. He won a ring with a 79. We are family pirates. Orioles were heavy on lefties that year, so he actually played four out of the seven games, even though he was far from a starter. Let's see if they have his stats here on the back. Yeah, 79 season, he played 70 games of the 162. But in the World Series, he played four of seven. And the Buccos ended up winning that ring, as you remember. Including Game 7 he caught. Clinching Game 7. 18 days, no fee for Steve Nicosia. Next up, Baltimore. Speaking of the Orioles, this is coming from Baltimore. And it is an Oriole. And it was a 79 Oriole. 79, 78, and what is that, 81 Fleer? Yep. Tippy Martinez. He played on those 79 Orioles that the Buccos beat in seven games. Including the clincher in Baltimore. Nice, Tippy. First time we've sent a Tippy. He's been a great signer. I don't know why I haven't sent to him before. I've got cards of him. He's 71 years old, mostly as a reliever, some spot starting. He lost in 79 to Nicosia, but he ended up winning in 83, so don't feel too badly for old Tipster. He's got himself a ring. First time we've sent to him. 18 days for him as well. Must have sent him out on the same day. All right, Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, no hard card, no index. John Stearns, first time we've sent the Stearns. He was stern. He was tough. Nobody messed with John Stearns when he's playing. He's a bad man. Really good career, kind of shortened by injuries. Broke his thumb, I think, at one point and just got injured again. Started coaching after his playing days, and then he's, I think he's fully retired now from that as well. He's 70 years old, played for 11 seasons, four times an All-Star. He was drafted, he's a great athlete, drafted in both professional football and baseball. So first time we've sent to him, eight days, no fee. Let's open this old photograph, see what we got. It's coming from San Diego. San Diego, California. San Diego. Oh, Rick Meyer. Nice. Signed the Notre Dame. Notre Dame legend. There's my note. And then the studio. Did he sign? Yeah, he did. Right on his blue jersey. We knew that was going to look great. Where are the easels? I should have gotten the easels out earlier. Check and see if I can get that. Got him. We got him. Easel, easel. Notre Dame legend. Had a great rookie season in the NFL. And that was the kind of the pinnacle of his NFL career. Lost out to the rookie of the year to his old college teammate, Jerome Bettis. The bus. 
and uh, just never could regain that magic from his rookie year. But uh, really good player. It's hard to believe he played um, 12 seasons in the NFL. Didn't know he played that long, but he played from 93 to 2004. 12,000 passing yards in, in those 12 seasons, which basically one season now for Drew Brees. But <laughs> anyway, 11 days, no fee for the Notre Dame legend. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know down below what your favorite was. You like those Meyer uh, photographs? He didn't sign my note. He returned my note. That's nice of him. And uh, the Red Rooster, the Tom Mack. Which one was your favorite? John Stearns or the Aspermonte? I like that freebie from Ken Aspermonte, Bob's brother. Thanks for watching. Hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscription. And then you can ring the bell and be notified of all my future videos. We do a lot of TTM videos. Trying to do two a week, at least. And then um, we do a big mail day video every Friday. So stay tuned for that coming right up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me today and we'll see you soon.